U.S. Senator, American troops could end up in conflict if $61 billion Ukraine aid package is not passed. A top Senate Democrat has raised concern that U.S. troops could find themselves in harm's way if Congress doesn't approve an additional $61 billion in support for Ukraine in its ongoing war with Russia, according to NTD media outlet. Senator Mark Warner, the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, reiterated calls for the House of Representatives to pass a new tranche of U.S. funding for Ukraine's war effort during press remarks. This time, the Virginia Democrat warned that America's men and women in uniform could be thrown into a more direct conflict with Russia if the United States doesn't instead spend more money to bolster Ukraine's war effort. I can't think of an issue that is of more historic proportions than supporting the Ukrainians at this moment, Warner told Bloomberg News. The United States has already provided about $113 billion in Ukraine-related aid since the full-scale conflict began in February 2022. This U.S. funding has since run dry. This February, the Senate approved a $95 billion supplemental spending bill that includes about $61 billion in new Ukraine-related aid, in addition to several billion more for other global security partnerships and projects. While the bill passed the Senate, it has seen no additional progress in the Republican-controlled House of Representatives. President Joe Biden and Congressional Democrats have repeatedly demanded House Speaker Mike Johnson advance the bill, as have some Republicans. Warner argued that if Ukraine doesn't get enough support and is eventually defeated, Russian President Vladimir Putin could then set his sights on conquering Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland, all of which are formal allies of the United States through the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. If Putin wins in Ukraine, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland will be next. He told Bloomberg News, and American soldiers could be in harm's way and in conflict within a couple of years. That would be a disaster, and it would be a disaster that would be laid at the feet of the Speaker of the House who hasn't brought this bill up. Russian troops will be deployed on the border with Finland, Russian President Vladimir Putin said in an interview with Russia One TV channel and Russia's RIA state news agency, the Russian leader said Finland's accession to NATO was meaningless, adding that he does not understand what has prompted the need for the alliance in Helsinki. Our relations used to be very good. But now the situation will change, Putin said. It should be noted that Finland joined NATO in April 2023. Earlier, Estonia's Foreign Intelligence Service warned that Moscow is planning to possibly double the number of troops along its western border with the Baltic states and Finland, as it anticipates a potential military conflict with NATO in the coming decade. Russians are planning to increase the military force along the Baltic states' border but also the Finnish border. We will highly likely see an increase of manpower, about doubling perhaps. We will see an increase in armed personnel carriers, tanks, artillery systems over the coming years, Kaupo Razin, the head of the service said. 
Recall Russia unilaterally terminated a Finnish-Russian border agreement dating back to 2012. While this move is largely symbolic as the agreement was suspended following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, it nonetheless demonstrates Russia's willingness to escalate tensions with its neighbor along its northernmost boundary with the EU and NATO.